Let's compile the Howdy program and see if we can make it run. If you're using an IDE, you'll find that you have a compile or a compile and run command somewhere on a menu or on a toolbar. If you're working from the command line, you'll need to invoke the compiler by name. In the working directory, you should have the file named howdy.java, which you can verify with the dir command. The name of the compiler is Java C. Notice the name of the compiler is Java, ending with the letter C, which I've always assumed is short for Java compiler. You should follow the compiler command with the name of the program being compiled like this. If you have not included any errors in your program, the compiler will create the class file when you hit the enter key. If you get some sort of error message, it means that something is wrong in the text of your source file and you need to go back and take a look at it. If you get no message whatsoever, it means the compiler succeeded in creating a class file and you can verify this with the dir command. This class file contains exactly the same set of commands as the original source file except it has been translated into byte codes that can be understood by the Java virtual machine. The JVM should be able to load the class file and execute the commands it finds in there. The Java virtual machine is named Java and you can run it this way. Notice this time that you don't specify the entire file name by specifying the class suffix. The JVM will add the correct suffix onto the file name that you specify. And that's it. That's all there is to compiling and running a Java program. Every program that we'll be writing in the rest of this course will be compiled and run in exactly the same way. You do have some command line options both on the compiler and on the JVM and you can get a quick look at them by entering the commands without arguments. For example, to see the compiler options, enter the command like this. You don't need these options very often, but I will be showing you how some of them can come in handy for special situations later on after you know a little bit more about Java. The JVM also has some options. In fact, it has more than the compiler and they will scroll off the screen unless you stop them. Probably the easiest way to see them all is to use the more command like this. This shows you one screen full of options and waits for you to request the rest of them. You can scroll the options up one line at a time with the enter key or you can scroll the rest of them up with a space bar.